Hello everyone, and we're back in Pokemon Platinum today. And before we begin, I want to quickly say that I did do a couple things off screen, and I really hate myself for doing that. And I first want to say it was very, very minor things, nothing big at all. The problem was I did record it, and two reasons. First of all, it didn't record, it didn't record, so like the file wasn't recorded. But I could re-record that, but I wasn't really feeling it. And the second reason, it was like 20 minutes long, and even if after speeding it up, it would be quite boring. So I'm going to tell you what I did. I went through the Fugo Ironworks to get Flamethrower for George. I'll show you his move set really quick. There we go. 95 base power, special type move. Awesome. Incredibly awesome. Then I went on over to the Orberg Gate, the basement floor to get brick break 75 base power 100 accuracy a good alternative to close combat when we don't want to lower our defense and special defense and then after that we went on over to Canalav Can city where we went met the move deleter who deleted strength off of mermaid and deleted rock smash off of george and thankfully we got dudette who knows now Rock Smash, Rock Climb, and Strength, and Mermaid who knows Waterfall. So we're all set to go. I mean, in our party right now, we have the five HMs that you require to take on Victory Road. So I think it's time to enter Route 223, our final route before the Pokemon League, baby. I can't believe it. So this is a new route. And you guys know we can catch a new Pokemon. Oh, I did sell quite a bit of things and I bought a ton of Pokeballs. Yeah, 108. And quite a few items like full restores, hyper potions, full heals, that. Mainly that. So, let's get on with it. Which Pokemon will we catch today? Will it be a team member or will it not be one? There are quite a, quite a few new Pokemon you can catch here. The only one that I... Anyway, let's see what it is. Come on. What's it going to be? Oh, yeah, Tentacruel. And I don't think we've ever encountered a Tentacruel before, so we can catch it, and I will do that right about now. I will weaken it down with a Power Gem, because I know it's very specially defensive. Actually, you know what? I should probably go straight all out for the Attack Order, because it will resist Attack Order. And I didn't realize it's level 44. Yeah, Power Gem did absolutely nothing. Attack Order shouldn't kill him. I'm predicting it won't kill him. Alright, pretty good. Now I Yeah, I, we haven't caught a, we haven't caught a tentacle before. So I'm gonna catch him. Definitely. Definitely. Wait, did we catch one? Actually I think we did. We caught a tentacle anyway. Too bad. Too bad for us. We're gonna take this tentacle out then. Here we go. Yeah, I thank god I remembered. That would really suck. I think we named him peanut butter PB and J, because he's like jelly. Um, do I want to I don't really want to battle these people, like, of course you can if you want to, but they're just going to have the typical water-type Pokemon. And here's a new one, Pelipper, which I'm going to run away from because one wing attack could fuck us up, seriously. So obviously you can take them on if you want, but I'm going to try to avoid them because, again, most of my grinding will be in the victory road and I can't wait to get there. And that's why I'm trying to do all of this right now. I'm going to go for the Slash, which should do quite a bit of damage. Apparently not enough. Hydro Pump, wow, that's kind of scary. I'm going to go for the final slash, come on. Water Pulse, no. We got it, baby. Good job, Waffles, I'm proud of you. I am so proud of you. And yeah, I can't believe I love this Nuzlocke run. I love commentating. Should I tell you guys about my day today? I don't know. I wonder if you guys find that boring. You should comment if you're watching up till now. You probably like my commentary. And if you want me to talk about my day, I will be happy to because I love talking about stuff that happened today but there's not really anything that major and you guys may find it boring so you tell me in the comment section below so here he has a man type who informed me he was a flying type but i don't think he's a water type because if he was a water type then yeah because i used a surf on him and he didn't resist that oh i should go for the attack order here shit i didn't know man time was a flying type actually i did know that oh my god why did i go for the attack order i'm crazy oh oh He's going for the balance, but we are very, very, very bulky. You cannot underestimate a Vespiquen's bulk. So the super effective balance practically did nothing. Good job, Waffles. I'm proud of you. Waffles is doing really well, and I'm glad we have this opportunity to train him right now. Train her right now, I should have said. Because if we had a male combi, 
It would still be a combi. Level 47, but still a combi. Double battle? Who's up second? I will put Chlorophyll up. No, George- I can't believe George is being underleveled! Oh my god! That's amazing. Oh my god, battle right before it. Level 50s, wow! I'm scared I might not even be able to escape. Oh, I also went, if you remember from the Fugo Ironworks, or if you don't aren't familiar with it, you get to access the back of Floroma Meadows, and I got this new item called the Miracle Seed, which boosts grass type moves by 20%. And guess who I gave that to? You guessed it, Chlorophyll. So Chlorophyll's grass type moves will be improved now. So, let's quickly be done with this. To swim every sea there is, that's my dream. Okay. This isn't really a sea, it's more like a lake. Deep breathing before battle. Breathe in, end out. Okay, yeah. Just don't do that too much, because I've heard if you breathe in and out like really, really slowly. Actually, someone at school did this, but... And they passed out, they fainted, because it's a method, I think, it like... Slows your heartbeat, and it puts you into like, a trance, and if you don't wake up from it, you could like... Go into coma? I'm not sure. <laughs> Maybe, that, that's all I'm aware of right now. Great job. Waffles is doing very well. And George? Come on, George. Show us what you got, baby. We go for the attack order on artillery and flamethrower on Wingle. I'm so happy to have flamethrower because it's 100% accurate and it is a good substitute to fire blast when we run out of PP on that. Good job, George. A hell of a game there. And attack order. Come on, take him out. Oh, very close. Octazooka. That's a water type move, I presume. Or, gr or ground type, it could be either. And I'm gonna go for the slash on Octillery. And then heal up with the Hyper Potion on George. Because George is not very specially defensive. And therefore, a strong move by Golduck could be... Oh, Screech, I'm scared now. Alright, I'm gonna go for the Power Jam on Pelipper. And Brick Break on Golduck. Because Golduck isn't a Psychic type. I never knew that. I thought for sure Golduck would be a Psychic type. Oh god. Thank god he didn't use it on George. Oh my god. Okay. We got this, baby. It's all over. I know some of you don't like it when I say baby. To those of you who don't like it, I love you, baby. So, here we go. We took them down easily. Very, very easily. I can't wait for the victory road. I hope you guys are excited for it. One person said they were pumped. I wish all of you guys were pumped. If you're pumped, comment it in the section below. That's what it's for. To tell me whether you're pumped or not. I'm gonna go for the slash here. Water Pulse, you got nothing on us, bitch. I'm gonna quickly heal up with a Hyper Potion. Just by the way, I have 53 Hyper Potions left. Yeah, I bought a shit ton. Because the Victory Road, even if you're not playing in Nuzlocke, you want a lot of potions. Hydro Pump, that was scary. Despite our very, very... You know, Tentacruel seems like a really awesome Pokemon right now. But maybe it's because he's so overleveled. Like, he's level 50 and we're level 48. Holy fuck. Oh my god. I thought we outsped that Tentacruel anyway. I was scared of a critical. I get really scared. Anyway, we lived it. We've gotten pretty lucky in this Nuzlocke run. Like, not lucky, but... There were a lot of times where a critical could have killed us. But it didn't. And this little loner sitting in the back. Um, yeah. Pelipper! I'm running from you. Wing attack, I'm not, I'm not gonna deal with that shit right now. Oh crap, I wanted to go here because I think there's an item over there. I might not look like it, but I'm traveling now. Does he mean treading? Like treading water? Traveling? What the fuck? How come the wild Pokemon are higher levels than the actual trainer Pokemon. That makes no sense at all. That defies all Pokemon logic. Oh my god. Power Gem, come on. Take him out, please. Come on. Because he keeps raising his defense with barrier. Oh shit. Slash, come on. Crit. Holy fuck. Uh, one more. Oh no, come on. Oh, good job, Waffles. Good job. Proud of you. And in we... What the fuck? We can't even get that Pokeball. Anyway, Mantike. I would love to catch a Mantike, man. But that it's too late for that now. Power Gem. One hit, one hit, one hit, one hit, one hit. No. One hit wonders. I'm going to run. And I'll heal up with the Hyper Potion. And Vespigren is running out of PP, but 
you know what? It's time to use our leopard berries and max ethers and all of that stuff. Because we're almost, we're at the final stretch right now. It's time to give it our all. Tentacruel. Um, no, I'm not going to waste my PP on you. I want to try to get Vespaquin to level 50. That would be great. Hey, are we already there? Oh, I think there's a victory road on this platform over here. That will be awesome. Yeah, I need to get Waffles up to level 50. Um, or not. Or maybe. No, there, there's some trainers up there. Ultra Ball, great. Um, is he gonna battle us? Yeah, whatever. Whatever, man. I could have avoided him, but... I came here because I wanted to see the Pokemon League for myself. The Pokemon League isn't there, you idiot. <laughs> Why didn't he just keep surfing on up? I guess the creators didn't allow that. I'm gonna go for the Power Gem. Come on, one hit. Oh, wow. Very, very close. Bug Bite. Down he goes. Level 49. Good job, Waffles. Wow. Amazing. Waffles is doing really well. I'm glad I put this much effort into training the Vespic Gwen. I'm going to go for the Bug Bite because we're running out of PP on... Oh, no. I need to go for the Attack already because he... It's raining and a Hydro Pump or something could be very, very dangerous. Machoke. Holy shit. Oh, no. He can't do anything in the rain. And we resist him. Why did I go for Power Gem? That was a mistake. I meant to go for the slash. I'm going to go for that now. Cross drop can't do shit. <laughs> you suck. Like, even a normal effective move can't do much to us because we are very, very bulky. Like, I've said it before, you can't underestimate our bulk. And that's what I love about Vespicron. You can throw her into pretty much any situation and be pretty much confident that she can handle it and wall it out and deal some hard damage. Like, that attack order, it's a signature move of Vespiquen's with 90 base power and a high critical hit ratio. That's very deadly. Alright, slash. Oh no, we have to run. Now it's time to use a... Ether or a Leper Berry. I'll use a Leper Berry because, yeah, we have 30... Oh, fuck. We... Actually, I'm gonna go for the... We have a lot of these, um... Elixir Ether. I'm gonna use that one time. I what where do we even use it on? Attack order, I think. What the heck? Actually, an ether is the same thing as a I was getting confused between an elixir and an ether. And in chemistry people pronounce it either. Maybe it's supposed to be pronounced that way, but I've always since childhood called it an ether. So whenever someone says either in chemistry, I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about, bitch? I need to use a leper berry um, on slash and now we are in good no I want to use it on power gem as well power gem is a good special type move and I'm glad we've trained waffle special attack Eevee somewhat like, we haven't trained them that much that much but we've trained them enough to be a serious threat and probably take down a Gyarados pretty easily use fly them over here Rare candies, so now we have four rare candies, and I don't like to use rare candies, but I probably will use them before the league to save on some grinding time. And don't worry, all of it will be on screen. Like, I've showed everything on screen up to this point, except for that, the thing I did today. And I really apologize, and wow, did you see that banner? Route 223? Pokemon League. I really wish I could set my thumbnail to this, but I need a partnership before I can actually make custom thumbnails, like, that's why I really want one, like, to make my thumbnails look better. And here is a Pokemon Center, we will get a heal from it. We actually do have one heal on the 8th gym place, because, I want to check out this hole. Reminds me of something not so appropriate. Huge! Like, three people could fit in it at one time. Is that amazing or what? We're not going to heal up right now. We're gonna go directly into it. Let's do it, baby. Wow. I can't believe we finally made it. I, I thought I would be much more excited than I am. Maybe when we get closer to the Elite Four, we will get more excited. And this was our first Pokemon. We did not catch an Onyx previously. So you guys know what that means, right? It's time to catch our final Nuzlocke Pokemon. Before the Elite Four, that is. Um... I'm going to go for the attack order. It shouldn't be a 1 at KO. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. And we have a bunch of Pokeballs. I showed you we have about 108. 
You know, that's not really that much. I'm fucking around. It's a fucking butt ton of Pokeballs over there. But these are high level Pokemon and they will be difficult to catch. Despite the many number. So I'm gonna keep oh curse, okay. I can't let him set up set up on me, so. Who can wall out Onyx's moves pretty well? Waffles is the best wall. I, I don't want to, him to set up on me, and eventually I may have to stop thinking about catching him. Okay, come on. Come on, come on. Okay, I need to use a power gem that will weaken him down a bit. Oh, fuck. Okay, he's lowering my def... Oh, shit. Okay. He's in the red. Now I'm going to switch out into Vaporeon, who can wall pretty much anything. I need to be careful not to switch into my HM Slave. Yeah, good job. Good job, Vaporeon. So now, in red... I don't think we can inflict a status condition, so Pokeball, come on! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Rock Snake Pokemon, it burrs through the ground at a speed of 50 miles per hour, fucking shit. And you guys know what I'm gonna name him. Yep. Um... Oh, let me, th let me, let me come up with, okay. W... E -G um... Fuck. Okay. I'm gonna stick with my... Oh, I'm gonna name him after... Someone. Someone. And I never named it after anyone, but this is just so fitting. I can't... I can't... Oh, great, I got it. I cannot miss out on this name. Like, I will name things after my subscribers in the future, but this isn't after a subscriber. Actually, he is a subscriber, but he's helped me out a lot, and... Here we go. So, his name is I'm Heidi. Like, um, in my Wi-Fi battle with uh, Heidi Tech Yo Yo that he posted on his channel, I used a Reggie Rock that completely owned in the NU tier. And he... Wait, NU tier, and um, its name was I'm Hardy. And then I was like, oh shit, I should have called it I'm Hardy. And then he laughed at that. I don't know whether he was trying to be nice or whether he actually found it funny. But anyway... Onyx is now called I'm Hardy, and should we train him? It's gonna be up to you guys. The thing is, we can't even evolve him. Fuck. I know someone said it would be awesome if you caught a Steel uh, Steelix because you can find them here. There's only 5% of those occurring and the Gabites occurring, so I knew I probably wouldn't run into those. Either way, we have an Onyx in the PC. If you guys want me to train him, I will happily do so. Otherwise, I'm gonna just stick with my team here. So here we go. Come on, Waffles. We need to get Waffles up, maybe even higher than level 59. I mean, what am I talking about? Higher than level 50. Okay, Onyx, I will go for the... Two attack orders should kill. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, I, I'm i glad that, that I did catch one because we have never encountered one before. And it's good to have a strong Pokemon in the PC, but... You know what? I probably won't use him, to be honest. And here, if you caught a Sneasel earlier on in the game, this cave will be very important for you guys wow confusion confusion didn't troll us that time great waffles again come on yeah i need we snapped out waffles is doing amazing work right now so what was i saying i don't even know um oh yeah if you caught a sneasel early on this cave is perfect for you because we will get the item called the razor claw which is no the razor Claw, yeah, which is the equivalent of a Razor Fang for a Gligar, and it will allow you to evolve uh, Sneasel into Weavile after when training him in the night time with that item equipped. So exactly the same strategy to evolve him, but <laughs> you can do it now. I don't even know what to say. So here, extra sensory. Are you crazy, Noctowl? Like, I've always thought Noctowl should have been a Psychic type, because he uses all these crazy Psychic moves. Like Hypnosis and Extra Sensory and stuff, but no. I love Waffles. Absolutely no weaknesses whatsoever. The Flying types who we should be fucking scared as shit of can do nothing to us with our Power Gem. Come on, take him out. Good job. That was a crit. It might have mattered, it might have not. We'll never find out. Good job, great gain, Vespiquen, I'm proud of you. Now it's time to heal up with the Hyper Potion. And don't call me a noob for using so many Hyper Potions, it is completely necessary in a Platinum Nuzlocke. Actually, in any Nuzlocke for that matter. And to try not to be over-leveled for the gym, I mean the Elite Four, 
I will only level up to level 55. You may think that is over level for the first four trainees, but for a fact, I know that Cynthia has Pokemon around the level of level 60. That's pretty much her average level. So level 55 will give me a good challenge. If you want me to go lower, I can do that. It's up to you guys, of course. Okay, Rhyhorn. Attack order. I should go for the bug by and start saving my PP on attack order. I love my PP, man. Turns me on. That doesn't make any sense. Anyway, uh, max repel, which we cannot use. And hopefully the victory road, won't, victory road won't be too long. I hope it isn't. If it is, well, then we'll still have to go through with it. I mean, we can't quit or anything, but it would suck if it was long. And I wanted to actually do the victory road in one episode. And I think that episode will be next episode because this episode is coming to an end pretty soon. All right, I'm going to quickly climb down here because I think there is an item to get and then we'll go back the normal way. And I just want to get this started a bit and then we can end the episode. Rhydon, wow. He gives two attack EVs. He's good for training, definitely. Bug Bite. Wow, crit. Yeah, I knew that was a crit, but I'm going to go for the Bug Bite again and hope for the best. Oh, wow. He dies from recoil. Great. And I think Rhyhorns can sometime... Oh, fuck, what did I do? Shit. I think I, I think I messed up. Yeah. Anyway, power jam, poison fang. No. I'm scared of the wing attack here. I'm gonna go for the hyper potion. There we go. Ah, oh, my back's hurting. I think my angle of elevation, I mean sitting, is kind of wrong. Anyway, air cutter. Wow, that did a ton of damage. I'm glad I healed up. Cause if he did use air cutter that turn, I would have been fucked. Alright, so I think I'm back at the beginning. I'm gonna quickly. No, I'm gonna quickly not my bike. I'm gonna quickly get a max push, uh, max <sighs> repel. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Max repel. Where are you? There, one of them. So that we can quickly go back to the place we were and see if. Yeah, I climbed down there, right? Yeah, I climbed. Wait, I climbed down there using rock climb. Oh. Wait a second. Yeah. So I don't think you can really make it through the victory road without the five HMs I have. You definitely need Surf and Waterfall to even get to this stage. Then after that, you probably need... What what you might call it? You probably need Rock Smash. You Rock Smash and Strength are a no-brainer, and you need Rock Climb, as you have seen me using. So, okay. Nothing to do here. You can go on up here if you wish, but I like to take on all the trainers in the victory road because I think they are good for grinding. TM41 Torment, absolutely useless. But, yeah. Let's talk to her. She's good for grinding. Like, we need experience on Vespaquen. Like, I didn't battle the trainers out in the sea because I always find them a pain in the ass to deal with. But the ones here are good for grinding, definitely. I'm gonna go for the... Oh shit, we can't do anything. I'm gonna switch out into... Mermaid? Yeah, Mermaid. Mermaid has this in the bag, baby. Payback, wow. <laughs> that was complete shit. Surf, one hit, one hit, one hit. Good job. They're very fragile. That's something you need to know about them. Gengar, very fragile. Dark Pulse, I'm not really that scared. Mermaid has astoundingly high special defense and really high HP. So we're pretty much good to go. Level 50 Mermaid. Wow, a hell of a stat gain over there. Last resort, okay, there's a 140 base power move. However, you may be thinking, why aren't you teaching it to your Pokemon? Simply because you have to use all three of your other moves before you can even use it, which is completely stupid, in my opinion. I would want to train on Roserade right now, but a Psychic would be super effective and probably be a 1-8 KO. So Surf, here we go. Wow. So Gardevoir is probably the, probably the only one who can hang on with a Surf and there we go done good job good job everyone so the episode is coming to an end i'm going to quickly get back to the place that oh shit where where were we even going oh we have to go up there so i'm going to quickly get a max repel on and waffles needs to slash I mean like okay now i can't switch or run i need to heal up yeah if he gets a crit on air cutter i'm fucked Confu oh shit, this is bad. Slash, come on. Come on. Oh shit, come on again. Come on. He keeps spamming Confuse Ray on me. Come on. What the fuck? <laughs> That's funny. Anyway, we had the increased critical hit ratio. So, one more max repel, and then we'll make it back to where we were. 
and then I will end the episode. I keep saying, I've probably said I'll end the episode like five times now. But I'm not kidding this time. For sure. And here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 <laughs> What am I doing? Okay, so that Karate Kid over there. Oh, I love Karate Kid, the movies, but that guy got no chance on me. Against me. He's got nothing on me. Anyway, until next time, this was your buddy Dragon Juice 27. I hope you enjoyed the episode. I thoroughly did. And until next time, peace out.